lessons to teach all of you fine folks who may be tempted to try it for yourselves one day. Uh, to which I say, S some of you, I'd be very eager to meet your children, and the rest of you, though, <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no reproduction for some of you folks. Um, nice to think about for some of you, but no, no. I, no, it, it is reserved for some people only. People who know how to raise their children on animation. Speaking of animation, what has happened in the past week as far as animation in the West goes? A lot of things, actually. And let me once again preface by saying that we will not once be referencing the news event. Like, people keep telling me, Hatsune Miku's on The Letterman Show. Isn't that newsworthy? No! No, it is not, because holographic Vocaloid performances have been done before. Uh, we've had holographic virtual performers on talk shows before, and no, no, just, no. Just embrace your Vocaloid overlords and call it good. Now, let's get on to the good stuff here. And yes, we have good news this week. We have, thankfully, we have a cohesive, good mix of things going on here. Like, uh, this gives me the warm fuzzies to say that the stuff that happened in the past week was productive and will probably put a smile on your face. So let's, get, let's not waste any time here. First up, um, some people have mixed opinions on the movies Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. Um, I thought the second movie was great. Um, I wasn't totally sold on the first one, but the second one, that one was really good. Like, you watch food-related monsters that requires a good amount of creativity to it. So, it's really probably for the best that they realize this genius of a franchise, because they are giving us a Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs TV show! You heard right, the franchise of the Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs phenomenon is being produced into a TV show. Um, interestingly enough, it's actually not going to be in CGI, it's going to be uh, traditionally animated. Um, by DHX Media, which their output in the past couple of years has actually been Flash animated stuff. So if they're going to be producing this, it's probably going to be also in a their traditional Flash style that they've had. So, but still, regardless of the style that's going to be animated, and this is this is, um, appealing. It sounds very appealing, um, and I have full faith that the company of Sony will put the writers who are responsible for this well ahead of all other products ever made before. Never before has such a phenomenon of the show centered around food ever been created before. So let us move on with this. Uh, maybe I'm overselling it just a little bit here, but no, in all seriousness, um, uh, something I probably watch. I would probably watch how they turn what it was basically a freak phenomenon of it raining food and turn it into a TV show. We'll find out. I mean, they turned writers, they turned How to Train a Dragon into a TV show rather flawlessly. They turned, what's another recent one? They turned Kung Fu Panda into a TV show rather flawlessly recently. So maybe a TV show centered on hamburgers falling from the sky is just what the doctor ordered. And also, yes, DHX is a Canadian production group, or uh, is centered in Canada. They've done Degrassi, and they've helped out with ponies, and they've done a lot of stuff for a younger audience, so this this is right up their alley. Whether it's up to snuff with the quality that the films put out, we have yet to find out, but we're, we're optimistic. We are pessimistically optimistic about it. But we do, we do have something that perhaps for you uh, older chaps there, those of you in uh, slightly more manly who are not much for cooking, but maybe more for some action going on here. Let's move on to this. Let's uh, let's talk about those Transformers, shall we? Let's talk about Hasbro's cash cow that they've been milking dry since the 80s, only to resurrect a brand new cow, and these zombie cows have been milked even further and to the point that they are basically hamburgers on feet right now. Anyways, uh, Transformers is getting a new TV show, which we knew about. We knew that Hasbro was working on a brand new version called Transformers Robots in Disguise. The news part of this, though, is that it was originally going to be airing on The Hub because Hasbro had, you know, 
big stake in that channel. But recently, with the recent reacquisition of the hub by Discovery all over again and Hasbro not being as involved in it, they are going to be airing this on Cartoon Network. As many people have theorized, Hasbro is kind of shifting their focus on the cartoons they make and the products that they want turned into televised shows over to Cartoon Network. So, who better to broadcast the new Transformers series? Yes! 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 I know! It, it does make sense, doesn't it? This is exactly what would work out, because where else are you going to market the big Hasbro moneymaker? Nowhere better than Cartoon Network, who continue to do mostly good things even though they kind of sucked at canceling Symbiotic Titan and Beware of the Batman a couple weeks ago. But at least they are in the black when finances are concerned. And yes, as noted by our one and only base, or er, sorry, uh, oh, I'm sorry, uh, DG, Digi Ranger. sorry, I'm very sorry, uh, Digi Ranger points out that this is going to be a continuation of the Transformers Prime series that aired a couple years ago, so it's going to, if you like that show, check this one out. If you didn't, check it out anyways, because you should still watch Transformers, because it will get your money eventually, you may as well just surrender to them. So, look for that coming in 2015, new Transformers series, because we need more money. Speaking of money, who loves money more than Disney? No one, I tell you. No one loves money more than Disney does. So, when they have some new franchise to work with, they have to really make sure they get their money's worth out of it. And just last week, we had the new Star Wars series, Star Wars Rebels, came out. And predominantly, the show premiered right after Wreck-It Ralph, the, move, the Disney movie, aired on TV. So you had this big build-up to a TV series built up by a movie premiere on TV. So uh, what's this all accumulate to? The numbers are in, and approximately 2.743 million people tuned in to the Disney Channel to watch the premiere of the show. Now, I don't usually put too much stock in those numbers, the this many views accumulated on that night, because it completely dismisses DVR recordings or people who tuned into the online platforms because this was also available on Disney's uh, platforms for tablets and iPhones and Samsung and all that good stuff. So the fact that it only recorded 2.7 million people watching it is probably not indicative of how many people actually watch the show. Like, I watch the show, just not on opening night. Like, I've seen it. I think it's really good, and I'm going to be following this show, and so will you, by the way, but I didn't watch it on the opening night there. So, again, don't put too much stock in, like, is it a worry that uh, Star Wars Rebels is not making the money back because not enough people watched it? Like, I, I don't think that's true. I, I'm pretty sure that it's going to have the same appeal as, or the long-term appeal of stuff like if Star Wars Clone Wars had, or... Uh, what's their things that uh, they've done, or, the, or even the miniseries that they did back in 2004. Yes, Wreck-It Ralph did air on Disney Channel. It was, it, they were kind of um, building it up for, well not just for promotion of the show, but also because when one of their movies airs on TV, you can watch it, and you don't have to buy the DVD, or you don't have to watch the bootleg copy on YouTube that's broken up into 11 pieces, which you should not watch because that's horrible. Go buy the video. So. But yes, so Star Wars Rebel started out with a moderate number of people watching it. Probably not gonna, and obviously not gonna have as many people watching it in the following weeks because more people watch premieres than they do week to week. But still watch the show. So at the very least, they got a moderate number of people to watch it. So good Star Wars. Let's and and again, a very good show. Let's hope Disney keeps this momentum going. And I, I'm sorry, I would be remiss if I did not uh, throw in the news that Darth Vader, yes, James Earl Jones himself, is going to have a cameo on the show, but is he going to be good enough? Yes, of course, he's going to be good enough. It's, it's James Earl Jones. He always brings his A-game. So look forward to that. Follow the Star Wars Rebels show because uh, it's, it's already shaping up to be probably one of the better cartoons of the year. 
of the year, I tell you. Now, to finish off the night with... You now, we've talked about plenty of things on the American side here, but what about people in other parts of the country? What about other people in parts of the country? Well, okay, more specifically here, we're gonna shift across the ocean over to Britain. And what about them are we going to pay attention to? Well, as far as animation goes, Britain's main export for a while and probably for the foreseeable future will be Ardman Entertainment. Yes, the claymation masters themselves, the chicken and run people, the Wallace and Gromit people, the Sean the Sheep people, the the people, the people of Ardman Entertainment. So wh what are they doing this time? Well, uh, this is a um, semi-new, semi-promotion, I guess if you want to get the word out there. But basically what they're going to be doing is Ardman's teaming up with the British Film Institute and they've got one million pounds to blow, to use conservatively, on <clears throat> new films that they're going to... They're basically having open casting calls for directors who want to work with them, and they're going to pick three directors to work with them with this money they've got. Um, this is kind of an interesting way of getting it, in fact, um, because they're, this one million pounds they've got is lottery funding. Like, they, they won the lottery. Ardman basically got surplus income by winning the lottery, is the way I understand it here. And they're gonna be, again, they're gonna be using this money to fuel future projects, which you should, because, you know, when you get excess income, you wanna make that money work for you, so... Yeah. What kind of town's gonna be coming from this? I don't know. We, we have no idea. But, the applications for this are open up until November 28th, so... If you've got an inkling to work with Ardman Entertainment and you're willing to relocate over to Britain and you want to work with their claymation department, this is something to do. This might be just the way to break into the business. So, um, whenever something like this shows up, whenever an opportunity strikes, you take it, you grasp it, and you do not let go until it has evolved into the star that you are searching for. That may be a little more flowery than some people want, but that. That's what's, uh, that's what they're doing. So I, and also I'm looking forward to seeing what they do with this, because if you open up to open casting calls to the whole world, you may get some talent that has never been seen before. <coughs> Who knows, maybe I will be the next great animator. Probably not, though. But I can at the very least enjoy the people who are much better at it than I am. And that's... Basically, all the cool things that have happened over the weekend, or not over the weekend, the past seven days in cartoons. And uh, thankfully, we are finally back to format because last week we didn't have the segment as normal because livestream was being mean to us. So that's how, that's how it works, people. That's how the cartoons roll. And I don't have an interesting way to end this off except that, yay, we get more cloudy with dance meatballs. That that alone makes it a good week. I'm still waiting for my cheeseburger. <laughs>